um, to give a big uh, brief uh, background on Southern Police District. Uh, Southern, uh, we have uh, six uh, cities and, and with and one municipality with a total police uh, of uh, 5,200 <coughs> PNP personnel with uh, 317 barangays. For our security preparations for the upcoming Christmas season, um, we have a total of 79 places of worship, 27 malls, 33 markets, 20 commercial areas, 16 bus terminals, 12 train stations, 4 airports, 1 uh, park and community center, 5 major tourist destinations, and 58 vital installations. So all in all, we will be employing around uh, 320 uh, PNP personnel, no, a total of 7,808 combined uh, PNP personnel and uh, force multipliers. So I will not go into details kung ilan ang personnel per police station, but uh, we will be utilizing uh, majority of our personnel effect um, and effective December 15 there will be no uh, leave so we can consider that 100% of our personnel will be utilized for security purposes for this coming uh, Christmas season. December 15. Uh, I think it's uh, 15. I think it's 15. There will be no as a policy there will be no break. So, hindi namin nararamdaman yung break. Okay, and then? Sama-sama tayo, sir. Pre and post Christmas season tayo. Okay, so that, if that in summary is our security uh, preparations. Um, hindi ko na, ito yung uh, per police stations. Uh, very active naman po yung force multipliers namin uh, and as well as yung local government uh, auxiliaries like the uh, traffic management office and the public public order and security office na which acts as uh, force multipliers namin in providing security lalo na sa mga properties and facilities ng local government like schools <coughs> markets, <coughs> hospitals, and others. But in terms of uh, problema sa illegal, saan nyo nakikita dyan sa cities na yan yung hanggang ngayon may malaki pa rin yung problema? Um, <coughs> Generally, uh, based sa accomplishments namin, mataas sa uh, Pasay and based sa aming uh, watch list, Marami sa Pasay City ang uh, uh, drug personalities. Pero with the, the last four months na nag-proactive uh, kami and the war against drugs, halos, uh, halos kumonti na. Uh, ngayon, very highly mobile yung uh, drug syndicates like our accomplishment yesterday. Uh, bago yung kanilang mga techniques, may sometimes use mga public utilities and put uh, the illegal drugs on simple boxes or bags tapos nag nagbabas lang sila so so nahuli kahapon sa Makati although along EDSA kaya may, nagbabago rin sila alam nila yung pinag-aaralan din nila yung uh, technique namin on war against drugs so nagbabago rin sila ng uh, techniques so uh, Recently, wala na masyadong ano, almost the same na yan yung mga police stations. Except yung mga special operations namin, na medyo, nasa phase 2 na kami, we, we are 
uh, our targets are yung high level personalities. Well, congratulations po sa accomplishment po ka. But, uh, kamusta sir yung follow-up operations? Uh, are we looking for uh, baka meron kami uh, sa buwan ito mga ito? Um, yeah, we are coordinating with the National Philippine Prison kasi nga doon sa base sa uh, <coughs> investigation namin, uh, may contact sa loob ng uh, New Bilibid Prison. At the same time, yung pinaka-mastermind, as what the chief said, uh, is wala sa pansa kundi nasa Hong Kong. He's, he's a Chinese uh, uh, he's a Chinese based in Hong Kong and uh, conducting uh, yung operation from outside the country. So, may, may follow-up kami dyan. In fact, we gave the information to the uh, New Believe It Prison Management. Um, meron namang mga feedbacks. So, uh, so maganda naman ang ano. Was he subjected? This Hilario Labadel was subjected for uh, interrogation? Or? Um, in, uh, inaano pa namin, investigate pa namin. Kasi kahapon lang nangyari. But, well, we have a uh, coordination with the New Believe Prison officials at positive naman yung yung aming coordination. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure yet whether I, I'm in liberty to divulge the information. Pero probably you can go to the New Believe Prison and see if there's, there really is a person by that name there. At saka, <coughs> at saka gano'n siya kalaking tao. Or if a usual question if is connected to the the sa believe it 19. Sir, paano yung magiging lakad natin bukas for Kerwin sir? Sa going to send it. Ina-arrange pa ng national headquarters but pagdadaan sa area namin uh, we will be providing our route security uh, area security also. Uh, mas madali nga yata na i-transport siya pagpunta doon kesa Lahat sila dadalhin dito. Sino yung sana sa sa dating ng mga bayan? Ano tayo? Lahat ng dito. Um, May 25 Yeah, um, I think yung May 25 was ano yung 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 they will be conducting it uh, the whole of Metro Manila, not just sa uh, libingan ng bayan. And I don't think the libingan ng bayan is included in their areas of convergence. But still, we have we have to secure yung living ng bayan. Sir, how about yun sa Ayala? Ang boli ng NCRP ito yung possible na problema ng mga matrice. True, that is true. Kaya nga, um, kaya nga, we have to anticipate that. We have to provide the traffic personnel. And if possible, sana we can coordinate with the organizers kung saan yung mas maganda na lugar na saan sila na hindi naman masyadong maantala yung, yung motorists at saka yung mga public. But uh, we will be, I'll be making a security plan for that. Baka mag-augment kami sa Makati. Um, alam nila namin kung saan yung mga places of convergence nila. Diba? Um, sa libingan ng bayani, Ever since uh, since last Friday na nagkaroon ng burial nga, we, meron kaming uh, regular security force doon, meron kaming uh, CDM in case may rally. But as what observed, uh, since Friday, wala naman nagra-rally doon. Right? For whatever reason, I, I don't know, siguro nakikita rin nila na marami rin mga nakalibing ng mga, <coughs> ng mga generals, mga colonels, mga national heroes doon. Siguro it's a sacred place. So I hope uh, hindi magkakaroon ng mga violent rallies doon or mga pipintahan ng kung ano. Kasi maraming nakalibing doon. Uh, in fact, yung father ko doon din nakalibing. So, lagi ako nandun. Going back doon sa may Black Friday protest, uh, you encourage yung mga organizers to coordinate with the uh, SPD, sa Yeah, if uh, we will try to reach out to them, di ba? Para ma, ma, ma pag usapan namin kung how we can assist them also. We can provide security to them. Uh, at the same time, maayos yung traffic. 
traffic sa kanila. We will, we will try to reach out to them. Wala pang nagpapahayag sa kanyo ng galit sa grupo ng mga mga Wala, wala pa naman. So, how many are still in stage? Wala pa rin naman. Uh, siguro, planning stage pa sila. Or ano. Kailan pa ng permit, sir? Kung sa, di ba, based up sa rules, yung Freedom Park, wala, hindi na kailangan ng permit. Pero pag uh, on other areas, kailangan ng permit from the local. Ayala, uh, I think, Ayala Triangle is not the Freedom Park. Eh. Yung Freedom Park nila doon, yung Revolto yata ni Ninoy, that is the Freedom Park. So, wala pa. Pero I directed all the chiefs of police to coordinate with their, with their local executives to know kung may nag-apply na ng uh, permit, rad permit, kung saan lugar. Para magawa namin ng security. Sir, sabi ni Tinang Senet tomorrow, sabi ni Meron din kami, oh. maglalagay din kami ng area security as well as traffic, traffic uh, personnel para maayos naman yung yung yung, uh, yung traffic at lahat para ma-assist. So, more or less, ilan yung i-assign natin? Magdad, maghihigpit ba kayo? Hindi ka tulad ng mga ibang hearings? Kasi i-curving po ito. Yes, um... <clears throat> Siyempre, in Senate, they have their own security inside. Doon lang kami sa labas. Uh, Mag-ihigpit mag, uh, kami. At the same time, magdadagdag talaga kami. Kailangan magkaroon ng route security. Kailangan, you know, we have to secure yung uh, VIP natin. Uh, I mean, yung subject natin. Para naman, uh, wala na naman issue na kung ano. Yeah, that is our normal mandate. Uh, when tasked to to provide security and or when tasked to provide a certain mission, dapat gawin namin yun. So, yung CBN News, uh, living yan, up to when sila do? Um, sa ngayon, wala namang time frame. Tinitingnan namin kung may threat pa or may threat of uh, mga rallies. Pero sa ngayon, tuloy-tuloy pa, ilalagay pa rin naman namin. Wala pa kaming masyadong, uh, wala pa namang uh, time frame para doon. Pero ever since nung Friday, wala namang, wala namang, meron lang mga, a few, mga 15, 20, hanggang ganun lang. Mas marami yung mga gustong makiramay o mga supporters ng mga punta doon. So, hindi naman sila violent. Pero yung mga supporters, ano anong ginagawa sa mga, they are being subjected to... Yeah, the, sabi nga, it, it's a sacred place. So yung uh, libingan ng bayani management, they want to see to it na organized naman yung pagpasok ng tao kasi maraming dumadalo dun eh. So, uh, yung, yung AFP, may, may nakadeploy silang tao to, to manage and to assist yung mga visitors, supporters para organize yung parking, uh, yung mga dadala, huwag, uh, huwag masyadong magulo. Diba? I think there was a time na around 30 to 50 buses arrived so nasa 3000 daw yung 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 napirama ay yung pumunta doon so ang hirap i-manage nang magulo di ba so yun ang concern ng libingan ng bayani management uh, sabi nga ni nung in charge doon the libingan ng bayani is open to to anyone especially doon sa mga may patay doon di ba hindi naman nakasara they just want it to be organized Uh, at any anyway, time, you have 100. One company, so 100. Uh, Every eight hours, yun, no? Uh, ang ang libingan na bayan is open kasi from uh, eight, uh, 6 to 6. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So, nandun na kami. Oh. Pagdating yung 6 p.m., sarado na naman. So, wala nang... So, 6 p.m., sir, hindi na Wala na rin. Nabili na rin dun. Eh. So, unless may... Rarat, may rally uli. So we have, we have to mobilize mga rapid deployment kami. Kahit na ano, kahit mga alas 12 o ano po, ng gabi. Pag may rally, takbo kami doon. Sir, kamusta yung trabaho ng mininyong task group, Rosales, doon sa mag-update? Ano nang update? 
um, <clears throat> continuous pa rin naman ang meetings ng uh, Special Investigation Task Group. Uh, may, may mga medyo mahirap talaga ang kaso to kasi if, sabi ko even the family they don't know the real wala sila idea kung bakit ano so we really have to to start from scratch pero may, may mga ano na kami may mga may mga leads may mga developments um, siguro the next by next week baka uh, something something uh, uh, may development pa talaga uh, mostly nasa technical investigation kami uh, na required ang special skills na hindi naman lahat ng PNP unit sanay sa tech, uh, tech technical investigation tsaka yung mga sa mga internet di ba so tinut nakakatulong naman sa amin yung ano yung anti cyber crime um, and yung fed So, continuous pa rin. Uh, may, man, yun nga, meron kami mga witness. All we have to do is to get the, the right evidence and the right uh, wit- witness. Uh, kan- meron silang kanya-kanyang idea who, who might be the, the suspects. But in the end, we have, we have to base it based on evidence. Diba? Pero saan ka doon ba sa drug angle? Yun ang isang ano, yun, that is for sure na hindi connected sa drugs. Hindi connected uh, At least, meron na tayong sure. Yun ang hindi connected sa drugs. Okay. So, mali yung mga ano, mga netizen, sir, na di ba, pinalalabas daw na drug related. Hindi, hindi. Yeah. This all started kay Loren kasi. Di ba? Uh, alam nyo na eh, this all started kay Loren. Tapos si JR, yung kapatid, was nadamay lang because of something he did. Uh, hindi ko lang pwedeng sabihin ngayon kasi part of the investigation yung the, the, the SITG met again yesterday so medyo nakinig ako tapos inalam ko yung development nakita ko naman maganda yung takbo um, kailangan lang medyo tutukan namin yung ibang tumutulong sa amin para ma-prioritize yung tulad na sa Fed yung uh, cross-matching ng firearms ng mga recovered slugs and Card, fired card, cartridges. Kailangan ma-prioritize para may outcome ka rito. At yun naman ang ginagawa ngayon. Naman. Siguro sa dami lang ng record sa IBIS, uh, hindi, lang, hindi mabilis ang pag-compare ng ballistics. So, magkakaroon pa rin ng justice sa rin ito pa rin? We will see to it na there will be justice will be served. So, mga ilang percent na ba yung natatapos natin sa investigation Siguro nasa mga 80%. Sir, yung dalawang ng mga na meron pa ba tayong iba na kasamahan nila na other surveillance? Yung nandun sa loob ng New Believe It Prison. Yun na lang. Pero yung nasa labas na inuutusan para magpenta, meron pa ba tayong news nila? Meron pa rin, o. I hope we can extract information from those uh, arrested. At the same time, yung nandun sa Hong Kong ang ang dapat na na makuha din, di ba? Kasi not because nasa Hong Kong siya, eh, ano na siya. Hindi na siya pwedeng ma... Identify the insert? Well, kung hindi man, there are ways of identifying him, like the cell phones, di ba? mga register dyan mga yan. So, dito napapasok yung ating mga Interpol, yung mga police sa uh, ating cooperation with the other police units. Yes. So, sir, ang hapon yung maging medyo malito para sa akin, sir, pa, paano na-identify na... So, dito, dito, anyway, dito nyo malalam, dito talaga magpuprove na tama yung sinasabi ng presidente natin na yung mga big-time drug lords are not in the country pero nasa outside, operating from the outside. So, ang hirap, ano mahuhulihin yan? Pero... Talagang lalabas at lalabas eh. Mahuhuli mo to, tutugan na, at tinatawag eh nasa, nasa labas, di ba? So malalaman talaga yun. Yes? Sir, let's, let's start this idea po. Yung, yung paano nagunta ka na dun sa pila ito, yung mga drugs, tinuha nila sa, na-establish na ito? Yes, oo. Oh. Eh, kasi ma, yung kanilang organization is 
somewhat compartmentalized din eh. Uh, merong merong yung watch yung uh, drug lord ay nasa ibang bansa. Meron siyang tatawagan sa loob ng New Believed Prison. O yung New Believed Prison tatawagan niya yung bodyguard, bodyguardor. Bodyguero. O tapos tatawagan din ito yung pag natawagan yung bodyguero, tatawagan ito yung mag, mag, magkukuha sa bodega o yung naghahanap ng, ng uh, proposed buyer. O, tapos ibibigay niya ngayon doon sa magdi-deliver at kukuha ng pera. So in, o, wala ito itong nasa tatlo sa baba, hindi sila direct doon, isa lang ang direct. So yun yung kanilang agency, yung compartmentalized. So medyo mahirap din uh, hulihin. So yung, yung hawak na drugs dito, yung nasa troll ka hapon, saan na galing yung specific na Doon sa dalawa. Hindi, doon sa dalawa. Saan kinuha ng dalawa? Ay, hindi pa namin, pe, hindi namin pwedeng sabihin kasi paano yan, pa, for follow up. Actually, we tried to catch yung uh, bodigero at saka yung isa pang ano, pero na, na, ano, na, na, nalusutan. Sorry? Uh, well, oo oh nga eh, eh kahit, kahit nakita nyo naman kahapon, lalapit lang yung ulo ni GPNP, nagsasalita na. So meaning, med- medyo cooperative sila. Siguro pag nahuli sila, eh, takot nila, eh, kakantahin nila lahat from A to C. Kahit hindi mo pa ginagalaw. Ngayon, doon sa Southern Police District na ako doon. Sir, ilang pong high-level personalities ang nasa drug watch list? Ah, nako, pasensya na. Kasi pito yung aming ano, hindi ko memorize. Pero, Meron kami, di ba? Eh, uh, meron kami target talaga. Eh, binibigyan kami ng 10 targets per 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 station. So marami pa doon bukod sa 10. Uh, 17 na kagad kung ilalagay mo sa 10, 10 times 7 police station, 17 na kagad. I think they were they were charged already today this morning. So magkano ba lahat? Ay magkano ba talaga yung value? So kung titingnan mo sa street value, Diba sa street value, nasa 5 million per kilo o 22 kilos, nasa 110 million ang street value pag nabento niya. Puhunan niyan, sabi mo na kalahat eh, 2.5 million. So 5 million, 110 million lahat yung 22 kilos. Ano yung kilo sa sir na mamakala considering na yung intensified campaign ng PNP, baka mamaya as far as na yung... Actually, mahal na yan. Kasi dati eh... Uh, Pero na dati pa eh. Yung ba? Yung huli namin bin, Hindi. Yun, yun yung aming ano lang, uh, conservative ba na? Conservative. Conservative estimates. Ay, I heard it it went up up to 6 million or 7 million pag mabenta mo lahat. Di ba na 20 million na yata per kilo? Ganon? Kaya nga siguro, scars talaga. Ano. Anyway, i-update kami ng, ano, ng dangerous drug board kung magkano na. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. DOIs. Ilan na ba? Sa SPD, nasa... Ang encounter namin yata, nasa 90 na yata or 80. Masyadong ano sila, medyo natatakot sila. Konting lalapit lang kami, lumalaban na agad. Kaya... Sabi nga ni GPNP kahapon eh, miyak na yung itakot na takot yung ano, di ba makikita mo naman, lalapit lang siya parang may shockwave na na ano. So, huwag sila matakot kasi kaya nga nandito kami eh, to arrest them and to bring them to court, bring them to justice. Not to bring them to the living ano. Huwag lalaban. Hindi, hindi kami gano'n. <coughs> Seven areas ng SPG, ano yung problematic when it comes to drugs? Kapati, Pasay, Palamayan? Sa Pasay, medyo mas marami. Maraming watch list sa Pasay ngayon. Dahil crowded? Ah, uh, oo, dahil crowded. Most kasi yung ibang areas sa Southern Police, yung mga subdivisions nila is, is gated subdivisions. Kahit sa, sa Muntin Lupa, mga Ayala, Alabang. Ano. So, secured yan, gated. Sa Pasay, walang masyado. Tapos medyo yung polis ay ah, yung kanilang population medyo kita niyo na sa Pasay 130 barangay siyata 
kada isang dalawang kalye ang ganun, isang barangay na, tapos ang daming tao. Sa Las Peñas, sir, yung sa kulang po, popular na ba yun? Um, meron din konti, pero... Oo oh, nga eh. Teka doon ka. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, susunod. Eh, ano rin, talagang each police station, tinututukan nila yung problem areas nila. Uh, yun nga, di ba? Crime goes with the population. Mas malamalaking population sa area, mas maraming yung crime. Sir, how about dun sa cleansing process na ginagawa natin sa mga tawa natin? Yung kaya uh, Continuous pa rin. Uh, halos lahat uh, na drug test na, meron lang mga dinadownload sa amin. Kaya yun yung pag nadadownload, bagong drug testing. Um, pag meron kaming report na na medyo dero report. We, we investigate. Pag wala naman kaming ano, wala kaming uh, proof, initially we relieve them. Continuous ang relieve namin. Continuous ang may mga nare-recommend kami outside the outside the SPD, outside the region. Yun yung walang ano talaga, walang proof pa. Pero pag may proof, ay five cases against me. May napadala na ba sa Mindanao? Marami na. Marami na sa amin. Ang problema kasi sa Mindanao, eh, hindi namin alam. Basta nirelip sa amin. Ngayon, minsan, hindi namin monitor kung saan. Pero I heard, nadala na sila sa Mindanao. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Dala ba sa SPD?